Hello, what is happening? It's ASX Options here. This is Jonathan speaking. Today we're going to be talking about option premiums. So the key idea with option premiums is that it's based off supply and demand. This is the price at which a willing buyer and seller transact an options contract at. Okay, so it's based off what people are willing to pay and it could be any possible value. It's what they're willing to pay for the optionality. So there are two main components that we like to think of when we think of premium. One is the intrinsic value. So this is kind of like the value that the contract has right now. And then time value. So this is the future value that the contract could um, potentially have. So let's break that down a little bit more. Intrinsic value, like I said, it's based off the price right now. And I like to think of it as the amount of value in the optionality right now. So as if you were exercising the option today, how much value could you get out of it? So let's see what that means on, uh, on a graph. So here's an example of ASX um, option on BHP. So here's our historical BHP price with the current BHP price of $31. So let's assume that we have a call option for a strike of 30, okay? So right now, if we were to exercise that call option, we would have $1 of intrinsic value, and that's the difference between the current price right now and then the strike, the lower strike, so $1. Imagine if the strike was then $25, then we would have an intrinsic value of $6. If it was $20, it brings that strike price even lower. So then the difference between the current price and the strike is then $11. And then $16 if the strike was $15. So now moving on to time value. This is the price uncertainty. So the amount of possible future value that you could get out of the option. And this is one where I think you just need to see um, a graphical representation to try and get your head around it. So the time value is again, in other words, the amount of dispersion that you could possibly have um, of that price moving forward into the future. So picture here, this is our end date term of expiry at the end of um, 2020. And right here is an example where we have kind of little price movement, not too much volatility. Whereas as we move through these slides here, you can see that as the volatility increases, so does the um, possible ranges of the BHP price and underlying. And as that uh, volatility increases and that price uncertainty, um, the time value, of course, increases in value. So you have to pay more for those options because the time value increases. So let's go through a real world example. BHP August put option at strike $33. So again, the current BHP price is $31 and with an expiry in uh, mid August there. We have at the strike 33 an option traded yesterday for $4.20 a put option. And here is just a graphical representation again showing one outcome um, well, if this is a put option, we hope that the price ends up going down if we've bought it. But um, and here's the expiry date, mid-August. So we know what the premium is because we can see that on the screen. We can see that that was the price that has been transacted for or the price that we're trying to negotiate. So $4.20 is the put price. So the intrinsic value and the time value what are they and how can we break that down from the $4.20? Well, the intrinsic value, simply, we take the current uh, BHP price, $31, and for the put, we need to take the difference between the strike minus the current price. So that's opposite to before because we were talking about a call before. The in the money component is 33 minus 31, so the intrinsic value is $2. And of course then, if the intrinsic value takes up $2 of this put price of $4.20, then the time value needs to be what's the rest of that component, $2.20. And again, remembering 
that has components of volatility and future uncertainty. If you enjoyed the video guys, please go ahead and hit the like button and um, subscribe if you want more content. Thank you very much.